So when you're composing and deciding what to include and what to exclude, you have to know what your subject really is. What is your image about? So in a scene like this one, what is the subject? The place is beautiful. In fact, it's one of my favorite places. Um, it's in the Wind River Range in Wyoming. I love this lake. I love camping here. I've been here a few different times. One of my absolute favorite places. But in this image, what is the subject? Is it the twilight on the mountains? Uh, is it the place as a whole? Is it the lake? Is it the flowers in the foreground? If it's the place as a whole, I think that that's valid. But have I put myself into the image? Would any cell phone snapshot, barring technical differences, be any more meaningful? Would it say any more about me as a photographer? To have taken this with a nice camera and leveled the horizon and processed it well and had superior color and tonality? Or is it basically just a snapshot amped up? I mean, what I did is I kind of fit the rock into the notch here. That's, that's about all I did compositionally. I mean, this is what it looks like here. It gives you a good idea of what the scene is like, and it was an amazing place to be. But where's me in the image? Aside from the processing, have I really put myself in there? When you're including an entire scene in the composition, the image becomes about everything and about nothing at the same time. So this image is about mountains, a pretty lake, flowers, nice light, but it's also kind of about nothing. Like any sort of snapshot around there would be very similar with a similar field of view and similar um, collection of elements included. It wouldn't really say anything substantially different. And technical factors do not give an image power or meaning. So just because I did it with a nice camera, processed it nicely, it's sharp, it's got good color and tonality, that doesn't mean that it's meaningful to me, aside from the fact that I was there. But for you as a viewer, what does it mean to you? I mean, it's just a pretty scene, right? Are you going to remember this for years? I don't think the image is all that memorable. I don't think you're going to come back and see it. I think you've seen everything you need to see about it right now. So in this case, I've merely acted as a conduit for nature. I was just there with a camera and nature was amazing. And that's pretty much all I've said here. The light was nice on the mountains one night, but I didn't make an image that no one else could have made. It's not uniquely me. So focusing your composition, when I ask what your image is about, I don't mean that it needs to tell a story necessarily, although that is a good attribute of many great images. You don't need to tell a story, you just need to have a solid subject. So think about what moved you to photograph in the first place. In that last image, I think it was just the sense of being there, the sense of place. I really loved being there, that's what made me photograph it. Here, I think this is a much more interesting image, even though it's a lot simpler. And it's taken at the exact same place. This is one of those peaks from the previous image. But all I've included is the peak and the light and the clouds around it. And I think it's much more powerful because I'm focusing on something that I found interesting in the scene. So you don't need to tell a story, you just need a solid subject. And you need to think about what moved you to photograph in the first place. What, pull, what made you pull out the camera? What made you set up the tripod and put all this effort into it? Don't expect the viewer to notice the detail that moves you. So in that last example, if it was the light on the mountains, obviously that was a very prominent aspect of the image and you'll probably notice that. But what if I just loved that there were wildflowers in the foreground? Well, they're just there. I mean, is the viewer necessarily even gonna see that? Are you saying, look at, look at how beautiful these wildflowers are. Look at how they fill this meadow. You're not necessarily saying that in a big scene like that. So don't expect the viewer to notice the thing that made you pull out the camera. Make the photo about that thing. Show them what you found interesting or important in the scene. And by doing so, you make the image a reflection of yourself, the artist creating it, rather than just 
being a conduit for nature, being there at the right time, having a camera that's expensive and having the technical skills to take the photo and process it, you've actually done something that someone else very likely wouldn't do is you've noticed a very specific thing and you've made the photo about that. So this is how most of my images are made now is I start to ask myself, why do I even have my camera out? What is it that's drawing me to photograph right now? <laughs> 